Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and I do apologize, but happy holidays to everyone. Now today I'm going to be opening up a bunch of different things for my adult doll collection, like the Black Friday dolls that I promised I would open on camera. So we have the redhead that you guys requested, so we're going to open her first. We also have her. Now I know nobody requested her, but I don't really like her skirt. So I'm going to be opening up some fashions in this video. And I thought that some of these might go with her. So we're going to try it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. So we are going to be opening that today. And then I have a few extras that I threw in. So we have a Real Littles from Shopkins. I got this a while back hoping to find more and I never did. So we're going to open that as well. And then, of course, you guys know I love these. These are the Barbie mystery packs, and you get like an accessory or a purse or something in them. So I do have two of those. And if you notice, I do have Band-Aids on my fingers. I apologize. I know they look horrible, but my fingers are healing because they were blistered. I like to write. What can I say? So anyways, we're going to go ahead and open up this one first because... I love these things. They're so much fun to open. And this one was kind of opened already, probably in the store. And it looks like we have another purple purse. I do already have this, but it's okay. I don't mind getting doubles. I can always send them to a friend or, you know, use them on multiple dolls. And then we have a silver necklace. That's really pretty. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this one doesn't look like it was pre-opened. Some of them get opened in the store, and I hate it. I try not to keep, though. All right, and it looks like we have another checklist. Oh, I don't have this one. So we have a little green purse. That actually might look good with her. And then we have a tiny pink bracelet. And I'll show them better on the doll so you guys can get a better look because I'm sure it's not going to show up that great on camera. All right, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and open up these Real Littles. Now, I've never seen these um, opened before, but on Instagram. And from what I've seen, you do get some pretty good things that you can use with your dolls. So we'll see how they look. And you can always use the little baskets that come with them. So it looks like we got, oh yes, you can definitely use these with the dolls. Look at that. We have some Apple Jacks. And then we have, this is a little big, but we have some pudding and this is chocolate. So yeah, that's a little big. But they also come with something inside. Now, if I remember correctly, someone got these before and they had little pieces of pudding in them but we'll check them out and see. Yeah, it's chocolate pudding. Wow, that looks so realistic, and they're kind of squishy. So there's the pudding. I'm sorry if that's not focusing. It actually has a bite taken out of it. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you guys. There we go. So yeah, it's the little pudding, and I'm sure the other one is probably the same thing. But we'll go ahead and look at it. Yeah, it's another pudding, but this time it's not, um, like, bitten or has a bite out of it. So you can just stick those back down in there. Those are really cute. I'm not really a fan of the size of this one because, like I said, you can't really use that with the dolls unless you say it's like a, a pack that you got at Sam's Club or Costco. And this one you can definitely use. That one's really cute. So let me open this without messing up the box. Oh no. I'm hoping I don't rip it. Come on. Okay, there we go. And guys, this actually has like the nutrition facts on the side. I mean, you can't read them, but it also has like the little cartoon on the back too, like normal um, cereal. It actually has something in it. So it looks like normal cereal like a normal cereal box, sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely gonna have to use this for the dolls, look at this. It's a clear bag and it has the Apple Jacks inside. Let me see if I can give you a close up here. So as you can see, you have the little Apple Jacks in there and it's a clear bag. 
so freaking cute so yeah i would definitely recommend picking these up if you guys find them they are pretty cute for dolls i might have to see if i can find more but this is all i could find so we have those and like i said you can use the baskets for like a shopping basket they are a little large but hey it works right all right so let me get this out of the way and then we'll go ahead and move on to the dolls that way we can get them opened and try on some of these fashions okay so i think i'm going to start with her because i'm going to have to open the fashions for the other girl so i'm going to go get her out of the box and actually i'll get both of them out of the box and i'll bring them right back so we can get to take a closer look at them hey guys so the dolls are out of the box and i'm going to be brutally honest so i hope mattel and whoever's ever quality control is watching this video if they're not go ahead send them this video because they need to hear this first of all i bought the fashionista the one with the braids and i'll pop a picture up now when i went back to the store to exchange her for another doll all the other ones were worse off in condition compared to the one i had so i decided you know what i'm going to get my money back i'm not going to waste my money on a doll that is defective so these were from black friday and these are ones i kept looking at them from inside the box they look great i didn't see much of like little defects or anything maybe a string here and there but nothing nothing compared to what i was about to find so we're going to start with her because she is the worst um first of all she has some strings on her side which is coming from her shirt she has a couple and that's not a big deal to me um i thought for one her head was broken but it's not but if you listen she's like a rattle she has like a piece or something inside of her body broken off it could be from another doll it could be part of her that's broken inside but why am i buying this off the shelf why like this should not be happening so i was pretty upset when i saw this but that that was just the tip of the iceberg when i opened this doll i noticed when i took the glasses off of her head that were um rubber band and they had a plastic piece that held them in she's bald over there so that's why they have the glasses there so you don't see the bald head so i thought you know maybe it was just my doll you know it was just one in a million no it's not look at christina's doll look at how bald this doll is i mean you couldn't even flip her hair enough to cover that ball spot this is just getting beyond ridiculous with this company i don't know what's going on with their recent dolls i know they're budget friendly and i understand that and i know they're for kids Ma majority of them are for kids but i'm an adult collector and a lot of you who watch my channel you collect them for your adult collection and it's just not fair to us to buy things like this that aren't even usable like i can't even use this in a skit i mean she would rattle the whole way it's just horrible and now i'm tempted to put them back in the box and return them to the store but i wanted these two dolls and i wanted them in decent condition so unfortunately i will not be opening the um, fashions in today's video i'm a little upset about the outcome and hopefully i can go get dolls that look better than this um i might just trade them in and go for some of the uh, wild heart crew dolls i don't know i just fashionistas aren't what they used to be guys and i'm just going to be honest these aren't what i thought they would be and i really do like these dolls but yeah it's it's not for me and i'm sorry that this video ended on a bad note but i want to be honest and this is my honest opinion they're not any good like nobody would want this be honest like who would want a doll that you can't even you know move without her sounding like a rattle and then this one so bald <laughs> that you can't even hide it i mean it's just it's crazy but anyways guys i hope you have a happy holiday and hopefully you don't pick up any fashionistas that look like this because to be honest i went through my whole store yesterday at walmart 
looking for another doll to switch out and I just couldn't find any, like none that didn't have some kind of defect. So I think they need to work on quality control a lot more. Like I said, I know they're budget friendly and I know the majority of them are made for children, but they do have to realize that even your child would not want this. I mean, who wants to hear this when their child's playing with a doll? Nobody. I mean, it's just sad. It really is. So anyways, I'm going to let you go, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.